Welcome to Family Worship. Today we are talking about Speak the Word of Life. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for another opportunity to come together as a family to worship and learn at your feet. We pray, O oh God, that you accept our worship and you speak to our hearts, Lord, as we discuss about your word, that we will not only be hearers, but also doers of your word in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Um, I wrote this song. Um, the song says, Speak the Word of Life. So, uh, let's sing together. Speak your word of life. I wake my mind and soul. Tell us what you understand by the Bible first. We read now. So God is trying to lead Louder, us. Louder, please. God is trying to lead us to the right, to the right way, the right path. He's, he's also doing it because He loves us. He's trying to lead us to the right path so we can be safe too, and He, and so He can protect us too. Wow, that's good. Okay, Chida, so can you? Um, um, talk well, well done, Touch. That was that was good. Um, th this past tells us that God is the way to everything. He's the light to our path. He's the one who guides us the right way. That if we do something and we won't, and if we don't listen to God, then we won't go to the right path. We won't be going to the right way. So God is the way to everything. God will lead us to the right path. Yeah, okay, Mommy, can you? <laughs> okay, um, so it specifically says that your word is a lamp to my feet. And I pick up that word that says lamp because if you think about a lamp, a lamp gives light to a particular area. So if it's a lamp to your feet, it's giving light to your feet. And for me, my interpretation is wherever your feet is, so wherever you have found yourself, wherever God has placed you, that word will give you light. That word will help you to stand firm in the place that God has positioned you. It would light all around you so that you can see if there are any oppositions coming or so that you can also see the blessings that are attached to where you are firmly rooted. And a light to your path in the sense that now it's not only a, a secluded area, but it is a, an ongoing. So the more you walk, the more you see. 
if you do not move, you do not see beyond where you are. So God has been the word of God, being the light to our path. So even from childhood where I was brought up by the grace of God in a Christian home and the word of God has been lighting my path as I have been growing from baby to toddler to teenager to young adult to mother and so on and God has been ordering the word of God has been ordering my step and I could see even when there were times I could have made a mistake or I even made a mistake the word of God still brought me back to the right path and still sort of guided me so that I did not lose focus and I did not go the wrong way so that's my interpretation yes amazing they've said it all you know and this is what the word of God does in our life and the word of God will help us navigate through life uh, sometimes you might think you know where you're going, you know what you're doing, but this word of God knows better than you do. And if you keep walking without the word of God, you might make a mistake. Imagine somebody walking in darkness. You don't even know if there is pothole. You don't even know what you're about to face. But this word of God will be the light that will help you walk that path you are going. So that's why we must pay attention to the word of God. I mean, I can relate this to parents working with children. Uh, a parent should be able to instruct, uh, give the children the right word that will make them become as standard as I used to do here, mommy used to do. We discuss the word of God, we give instruction. Sometimes you might not like it, but these are the things that will help you get to where you're going. These are the, the word that will make you become who God has ordained and planned for you to be. Um, I know sometimes I need to tell you guys, intelligence is good. It's good for you to be intelligent. I know you, everyone in this house, we are all smart. Uh, everyone is good in what we are doing. But again, intelligence also will not make you a leader. What makes you a leader is character, right? When you have the right character, that's why sometimes I might be a bit strict and you're like, oh, this man, why why can't you leave me? This or that house, they do it this way. And I'm like, no, they are doing it differently. We are different because everybody in this house, we are leaders. And as you can tell, the big sign the lady deputy uh, head. It's not just because you're intelligent. Yes, you're intelligent, but your character, because of the, the instructions, you know, sometimes you do something like, don't do this because you're a leader. And they've seen it in you. And because of that, you, you, you continue to be a leader. And I remember she was asking me, oh, am I going to be a deputy? And I'm like, if you work very hard, you might even become not just deputy head, you become a head. I not be in the school, but in the environment, any environment you found yourself. I mean, a few weeks after that, he was celebrated, isn't it? Uh, for mathematics. Yes, the whole school celebrated him. Right? So now you become outstanding in what you are doing through instructions, through the word of God. And I can advise every parent's place, make sure this word of God, you will continue to speak the word, live according to the word. You, you need to show example as parents, not just giving them instructions and then you go at the back, you go and smoke weed, you come back and tell them, don't do this. You know, in my house, we, there are some songs we don't play in our house and I'm not saying oh, that it's bad, but in our house, we don't play that kind of songs because of where we are going and because of who we are. There are some things we don't do in our house uh, because of the training and because of where they are going. So in your house, you can check your environment. What are the things that we should not be doing? What are the things that will lead us to the right way? So put those instructions and make sure those things will work in accordance to the word of God. Can you read that Joshua? Is it Joshua 1 verse 8 or 8 to 1? Joshua 1 verse 8. Joshua, Joshua 1, 1 verse 8. The book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night, that you may observe to do according to, to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have a good success. Yes, we will have good success. You see what the word of God is doing. Um, in, in our lives so we will have good success and i pray that this book of the word of god this word of god will not depart from our mouths day and night for those of you listening to us we pray that the word of god 
will not depart from uh, your your mouth, right? So we'll keep talking about it, we'll keep living by it. Because this word of God is a lamp unto our feet and a light to our paths. So I pray that the Lord will bless you Amen. as we live by this word in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Okay, you started with opening prayer, so you end with closing prayer. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We pray that as we have heard your word, that we will practice this in our daily lives and your word will continue to be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. amen.